Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft PowerPoint. In this module, I want to have a look at how to create and use templates. I'm going to create a template which is just going to be a process with no design attached to it. And then I'm going to create another one which will have the process and the design attached to it. I'll also have a quick look at themes and how you can apply a theme to a presentation. But the focus is on templates. So I've already created a couple of templates, so if I show you what I'm talking about, if I go File, New. So these are all preloaded templates that come with PowerPoint, and some of these are quite cool, to be honest, and give you good ideas, and even allow you to edit them. And you've got different options here, themes. Uh, these are just different themes that you can select. If I go back, um, Business, Diagrams, I'll go to Business, let's have a quick look. If I just click on this one and just load, this is what I talk and what I'm talking about when I'm talking about templates. So this is a pre-formatted branded template. If I click on create, you can see that it's already got this, this sort of information on every slide. It's already there with some text to tell you what to do and what you should be putting on that particular slide. And then some instructions down the right hand side of how to do that. Now, if I go into the slide master of this if we go slide master view slide master that shows you where the where the effort's being put for all these designs so there's nothing sitting on the top level or parent of all of these but on the sub slides or the child slides if you like they are, have all these design features set out so that's how a template works and that's what it is all about now I've created a couple if I just control W that get rid of that and click on file new when you create your own they would sit in custom and either templates or document themes so I've done it in templates I've got planning one which is just an out outline of a project plan that you want to do so you're just basically setting out the structure for people to use so there's nothing too technical here just the company logo you want in the title maybe date and time and then this gets filled in and so on and so on and there's no branding at all with that and then the other one planning two if i go um, new custom templates has got branding on if i click on that one and create you can see that this is the same presentation but with a color scheme and some funny circles down the side on these ones nothing on the top one but all the rest have got these little circles now if i and there's a bit of a mistake there look i did on that because it's obviously sitting over the top of that but this is what I want to do. So if I create a basic template first off, if I go control N for new, and I'll do the one that is just going to be a process. So let's go call it um, planning again, just do the same one. So planning, and then you build it out how you want people to use this. So the first part was groundworks, and then whatever, whatever you want them to cover on, um, groundworks you just put in there site survey I put or something like that and then a new slide did control enter there and then I'll just call that mapping and map site control enter for another another slide and that'll be the last one I'll just call this review so this is what I want and I want to save this as a template that we can all access so it's a simple process of file save as and you select the template option from this drop down list powerpoint template and then you give it a name so i'll call this planning three so we don't get it mixed up you make a note of where it's going that's going there save that and then this is then saved now if you want to add branding to this you need to add the branding in the slide master if i go into slide master click on view slide master i'm just going to make this a lot smaller because of what happened now i can't click on that on this slide because i'm on the bullet list slide i need to go onto the top slide the parent of all of these to do that because that's where that sits now this is going to be a template 
and it's also going to be I'll get that quite small actually out of the way it's also going to have some animations on it so I want to put some branding on this one so I'll just let's make this simple stuff so I'm going to just color this in black format background solid fill well let's go for a dark gray not black dark gray the whole slide now if I want this to be a different color you can select different colors for this so it's on shape now so if I go solid fill I'll go a that's it now see it cascading through all the other ones because I'm on the the top slide there now for animation and things like that if I go down to the the slide that's the um, titles and the bullet list sort of slides if you click into into this box activate this box you can then go to animations and add animation but get the animation pane up oh, let's just get rid of this a minute squashing everything up add an animation pane and then go add animation through this one and I like to do more entrance and dissolve in click OK to that so they're just going to dissolve in on this type of slide they're all coming in together at the moment so I'm going to drop the arrow down over there go to effect options and just do a couple of things in here I, I want them to dim white and I want them all to come in individually as paragraphs click OK to that so it should come in one at a time like so so that's on that slide and you can come back and change this if you want to and each of these slides you can do a different sort of image so if I just go insert and just do a, a silly little shape or something I'm not great at design as I'm sure some of you will notice so let's just do a couple of shapes there and I'll get rid of the shape outline on that I should have done that first actually before I copied it get rid of the shape outline and what does that look like nothing spectacular I need to send them send them to the back because they are sitting at uh, on top of the um, where the slide or the date would go the slide information so I'll need to send these to the back so send to back send to back so that comes through to the same for that one send to back send to back so I'm not sure whether that looks great but that's what I'm going to do you you can do your own designs and that's only on this slide and the slide master and if you wanted a something fancy on the title slide maybe you could do something on there I'll just insert something else a star it's so so bad but there you go a little star at the end I don't need to do anything other than that so that's what that's what I'm going to do I click close and there you've got any issues that might crop up there with that there look on there but now I'm, I'm going to save this I'm going to do two things I'm going to save this as a template call it planning four so we've got one with the branding on and I'm also going to save this theme but I'm not going to save this theme just yet so if I go file save as this is going to be planning four save so now we've got four templates in there now if I get myself a new file and I want to apply that template design not the actual templates if I go to design I didn't save that as a theme in here well I did but previously a different one but what I can do is if I browse for a theme it should be able, I should be able to find out um, where that theme is like planning for there I just happened to be in there from before but obviously you might have to make a note of where that is sometimes that folder is hidden you might have to just set um, your windows options to show hidden folders so planning for even though that is a template if I apply that it still applies it 
but obviously it hasn't brought in any of the text from the template that I called Project 4. So that's just um, allowed me to use the same design. Now if I want to add this to this list, I can save this theme. I'll call it um, Project Theme and then save that. So then we've got the option if I get a new file to go, okay, I don't want to be browsing for anything. I just want the project theme to be available for me through my themes. But to get it to sit in here, you do need to do it in your slide master. So that will make it, it sometimes lets you do it. It's a bit hit and miss to be honest, but the proper way is to do it in the slide master and then save the theme and it will appear in this list. And then you don't have to browse for it. But obviously if you want the template, so this is not really a template, it's a theme. If you want the template, you have to go file new now they're all sitting there, the ones I've recently used, but if you haven't used it for a while, it won't be sitting there. So it's in custom. And then I've got folders in there. I've created folders, templates, and those are the four planning ones. So planning for create, that brings in the branding and the text. So that's a better way. Now, if I go file new, you'll notice in custom that I've got templates there. So if I go into templates, this shows me this list. Now if I go back, I've obviously got a document themes and everything else in there as well. So where is that on the computer? So the best way to find that is to go file save as again. And so you've got select templates that comes up click on that and then copy well, I don't need to copy actually I can do it here or you could copy it and go into Windows Explorer but I can do it here so basically I've got um, there's a, there's the templates and you see document themes you can put or create folders in here so if I create a folder called Steve now it won't appear until you put something in it so if i put planning one into steve that should then appear when i go file new for custom templates and i'll just put planning two in there as well so i've got a couple in there so if you don't put anything in it doesn't show so i save that yeah no yeah it doesn't matter so now if i go file new custom templates I've got Steve and inside Steve is those two files so that's how you can create your own little filing structure it's quite a hard thing to remember but that's basically how you do it so that was just a quick look at how to create templates and use themes if you want to use themes but templates two options one just the structure the information that you want to appear in a template and two both the information and the branding and then if you're going to use themes, you're just saving the theme, but that doesn't give you the information from the template, but you can actually use the theme on a template to keep consistency of presentations. So hopefully that was of use for you. Thank you for your time and I'll see you on the next one.